Welcome to Practical Tajweed for each letter. In our previous episodes, we covered all the letters individually and we looked at the practical Tajweed of each letter. And now we will look at mad letters. And mad or mudud, which is plural, mad is elongation to prolong the sound when we're reciting the Quran, wherever we come across mad rules. So therefore, mad rules, there are three mad letters. They are alif, waw, ya. But the difference is that they are not on its own. Because on its own, alif, waw, ya, we have covered a separate makhraj or articulation point. But when we say alif, waw, ya, they are mad letters, we mean by that, that alif preceded by fatha, meaning before alif, there is a fatha, zabur. Wow with sukun preceded by dhamma. So wow must be with sukun, and the letter before must have dhamma, pesh. And then ya with sukun preceded by kasra. So ya must be with sukun, and the letter before must have kasra. With these conditions, they become letters of mud or elongation. So therefore, we need to know all these three letter, letters, mud letters, with those conditions, i.e. alif uh, preceded by fatha, wa with sukun preceded by dhamma, ya with sukun preceded by kasra. So when we come across in the Quran those three mud letters, we are meant to elongate two counts. So for example, if we look at a uh, or ba, after ba, there is alif. But ba has fatha, so we say ba, ba. And then if we say with wa sukun, bu, bu. With ya sukun, bi, bi, bi. So those three mud letters, the sound of the mud letters comes from the mouth, al jawf. Or you can say the empty space. The cavity. So when we make the elongation sound, when we say ba, when we say bu, when we say bi, the sound is actually coming from the empty space, the cavity. That is al jawf. So the mud letters, the sound come from the jaw, uh, the yes al jawf or the mouth, the empty space, the cavity. Now of course elongation also has different rules two counts, four counts, six counts, and we will cover that later, inshallah. But whenever you need to elongate, then the sound comes from the empty space, the cavity, al jawf So just remember those three letters. Alif preceded by fatha, ba, so it's not ba, ba, two counts long. And then, waw, sukun, preceded by dhamma, Bu, bu, two counts long, and then ya with sukun preceded by kasra, bi, bi, two counts long, long, or you can say ta, ti, tu. So the difference is if it's just with fatha, dhamma, kasra, then we say ta, ti, tu, ba, bi, bu. But because we add alif, and then for the second one we add wa sukun, and third one we add ya sukun. So we say ba. B, bu, ta, ti, tu. And if you remember this, you will come across this in every single page, in every single verse, in every single line, in fact, in every single word. You will come across one of those three mad letters, elongation letters. And when you're reading, you need to apply. So before even you learn any mudud rules, elongation rules, just on its own, just remember this and you would need to make it longer, two counts longer. And when we say two counts longer, we mean, for example, ba, ba, so ba is one count, ba is two counts, so ba, ba, if you put it together, ba, ba, ta, ta, when you put it together, ta, ta, ay. so this is how you, you, you make it two counts longer, inshallah. I hope the mud letters are clear and the location or makhraj or point of articulation of mudud letters are al-jawf, the cavity, the empty space. 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الذين آتيناهم الكتاب يتلونه حق تلاوته أولئك يؤمنون به ومن يكفر به فأولئك هم الخاسرون